Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video on my favorite and least favorite um, type or species of hamster. And this video is going to be very hard for me to do because I literally love every single hamster. I think all hamsters are adorable and they just have, just like, they're just amazing. But it took me a while to, like, really decide what my favorite types were and my least favorite. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and share them with you guys. Okay, so in first place of my favorite type of hamster, we have the Syrian hamster. I love Syrian hamsters. Um, I haven't had always the best luck with Syrian hamsters, but ever since we had Hamsty, I can just say there are a lot of really good qualities that you get with a Syrian hamster. First of all, they're just adorable. Hamsty, as you guys can see in this picture, he is just too stinking cute. Um, he was a long-haired Syrian hamster, and I really like that about Syrian hamsters, how you have the short-haired and the long-haired, so, you know, it's really kind of different. And he had the longest fur in the winter. I'll have to show you guys a picture after this. It, it got so long, and it was just so fluffy, and he was just the sweetest little hamster, like, I'm not gonna lie, but... I was so attached to him. He was just an amazing hamster. And another thing I love about Syrians is they're really good to hold and pick up because they just feel a lot more, a lot better in your hand, in a sense, than dwarfs. Like with dwarfs, when they're in your little, when they're in your hand, you just kind of are worried that you're going to, like, hurt them or something. And they're really fast, and they just, like, completely jump out of your hand. But with Syrians, they just kind of chill out in your hand, and it's so adorable. I mean, at least Hamsty did. So, yeah, Syrians are probably my favorite type of hamster. So, I just love them so much. And I'll actually show you guys a picture of uh, Hamsty's winter coat right now. Okay, so here's one of my first pictures, and if you guys can see right now, Hamsty, this was a picture of him, and, um, and my little brother was holding him, and you guys, it, you can see, like, his fur just, like, poofing out. It was so big, and oh my gosh, look at how chubby his little cheeks are. He was so cute. So, again, you guys can clearly see um, his long, I think they call it a skirt, um, the males usually have it longer than the females and long-haired Syrian hamsters, but it's just kind of that little poof, like, at the end of their tail that just kind of, like, goes out, and, um, he would get, like, bedding stuck in it all the time. That's why we didn't really use wood shavings for him, except for you sometimes in the summer when his coat wasn't as big, but, um, again, this actually took place during the winter, that's because he got really big for winter when he was younger, so yeah. So, again, this is just another example. As you guys can clearly see his skirt, he had literally, like, such fluffy. Oh, my gosh. He's literally just, like, a poof of fluffiness. How can you say no to this? I mean, it's so cute. So, I honestly don't know what Hampsy was thinking in this picture. Perhaps he thought he could fit inside of this failed attempt of the puzzle playground. But, again, it's just adorable and... You can also very clearly see his skirt, and it just kind of goes poof. It looks like he's wearing a little skirt, actually. That's probably the, why they called it that. Hint, hint. <laughs> okay, so this is a pretty interesting story. Again, you can see his fluffiness, and if you're wondering what he's sitting in, that's a little treat container, and he, we were letting him run around our room, and um, he got into the treats. He was very, very naughty. But again, that's just why we loved him so much. I think that Syrians can have amazing personalities. And even though sometimes it may take a little while to tame them, they they can become very, very tame. And they can really trust you. And it's just amazing to have a hamster that you trust and it trusts you. Because it's just like, oh. <laughs> Another hamster that would have to come in probably second place for me is the Winter White. I love this type of dwarf hamster. That's my favorite type of dwarf hamster. And they are just so adorable. And I really like Winter Whites because they're usually a little calmer 
than other dwarf hamsters, and of course there's always those individual really hyper crazy hamsters, but um, I know Theodore, when I got him, he was just so calm, like he was just so chill and mellow, it was just so adorable. Um, I really love winter whites because it's really cool, like, seeing if your winter white's coat will change in the winter. I know with the pearl, like, Theodore's, it doesn't change in the winter because, I mean, it's white all year. But with the agoutis, it's kind of fun to see, like, how much it's changed. And I really like how you can get three colors, the pearls, agoutis, and sapphires. I only have a pearl, unfortunately, but I, I really want to get more winter whites if I were to ever get another hamster in the future. And Theodore's not fully tame with me, but, you know, we're working on it. He doesn't really mind me touching him. He actually quite likes being pet, and it's really adorable. Um, but he's still kind of scared when I hold him. He just has this really terrified look in his eyes. But he doesn't really ever just bite me for no reason. He does nip quite a bit because... I don't know, that's just how he is, and sometimes that's just how hamsters are, but he doesn't bite me for no reason, and it's just a small little nip, usually when I have food or on my fingers or something, so I love him, and he just has a, such an adorable personality, he's just so cute, so winter whites are my second favorite, and it's a tie between winter whites and Syrians, but I also love, love, love Ravaroskis, they're like the cutest things ever, I've never had one before, but I've always wanted to get one, and I just think they're so cute, how they're so small. So, yeah, they'd probably go in third place. And then what's left is, like, the Chinese and the Campbells, I think. Is that what they're called? I still have to, like, go through my species. But um, I've never actually had those, so I can't really say if I like them or not. But so, like, those types of hamsters, they may be really good, like... I, I've never actually had any of those, the Chinese or Campbell's, whatever it's called, a Russian dwarf. I honestly, like, need to go over my species. I know most of them, except it's just those last two. Um, I know the Chinese hamster, but not the other ones. But, again, this is just my personal favorites, but really any type of hamster could turn, like, differently. Like, you could have Ravaroskis that act like Syrians, and they're just, like, so cuddly when usually they're really supposed to be kind of difficult to tame. It could all be different. You could have Syrians that are really super hyperactive, and you could have uh, winter whites that act like this type, or you could... It's really just about your hamster's personality, but these have to be my favorites, and I just hope you guys enjoyed the very adorable pictures um, that I put in this video. I thought it would be a little bit more interesting than me just talking to the camera but you know um so like always please comment and subscribe please subscribe i have gained a lot of subscribers like i'm oh my gosh i'm so excited i have like 31 and i know that doesn't really seem like a lot for people who have like 50,000 million but still that's a lot for me like i never thought i would get that many so i'm just like oh <laughs> but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a like and leave comments and stuff like that and if there's any videos you guys do want to see then leave them down below and I will speak to you guys all soon. Bye!